we laugh at and with them. Make sure they have enough to eat during our lean winter months. We've got a big bird in the sky over there, a vulture. Right? But especially when spring calls in Central Oregon, people are quietly listening and watching. All right, we are on a secret mission this morning. We're looking for the rare, at least in these parts, the white-headed woodpecker. We are not from the CIA. We are, however, here thanks to the Deschutes Land Trust. The red-winged blackbirds build their nests in the cattails. We have a, a relatively small collection of birds who overwinter here. And then in the spring, you get all these neotropical birds that go south for the winter beginning to come back through, and so you know spring is coming, you know. And, so, and they come through in waves, and different species at different times, so it's a very exciting time of year for birders. Carol Wall has been birding in different parts of the country for more than 40 years, and she loves the spring. That's why the males are so brightly colored. They're singing a lot. The females are out now. These blackbirds that we're hearing, many of them are females saying, you know, you guys just stay away from where we are. Um, nesting begins and, and then the youngsters fledge and you've got a whole, all of a sudden, a whole crop of, of new birds that are going to mature and they'll sometimes go further north, sometimes they go south again for the winter, depending upon species. This bird watching hike is part of the Deschutes Land Trust annual series of hikes that tries to raise awareness and maybe a few dollars for its efforts to maintain Central Oregon's natural beauty. The Land Trust is focusing its efforts on the restoration of habitat. And you hear an awful lot about the restoration of the stream habitat for returning steelhead and salmon. This is a pretty exciting for folks around here. And as the habitat around streams improves for the fish, it certainly improves for the birds. Well, if you're a veteran birder, this hike may or may not be for you. But for reformed city rats like me, these hikes are really fascinating. People who see birds in their backyard, they think that's cool. So they come out and, you know, we loan them a pair of binoculars and they have a chance to begin to pay attention to the kinds of things that are important. Habitat, where does the bird live? Just like us, birds have preferences for neighborhoods. So is, does it live in the pines? Is that where you see it? Is it out in the desert with the juniper? Um, is it around water? You just never see these red-winged blackbirds except around water. Robert Moan isn't a complete rookie birder. He's captured photographs of larger birds like raptors, but... These areas are uh, pleasant little surprises that you come across, these meadows and so forth that don't seem to be so typical Central Oregon with dry, um, has different vegetation and different uh, wildlife. 